Hello, this is my PlayStation 4 and I'm here to play some Virtua Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown. I keep deciding to play it again after I thought I was not going to, but actually I would have anyway, I guess, because as you see in the little scrolling text up here, there was an update. They updated it rather quickly after they identified a problem with the, uh, the online rooms. People could not find rooms that their friends were creating. This isn't going to tell me about it, is it? No, it's going to launch the game. I did not. Thanks. Thanks, PS4. I kind of thought it would do that. I don't use my PS4 enough, so I guess I've, I've reverted to being a PS4 noob. Okay, let's, let's get out of that for a sec. Thanks. Um, ooh. You can just go away. Thank you. Thank you, PlayStation Indies. We love you. Make some fighting games. Um, so... Yeah, edit the room search feature. Well, they actually explained a little of what they did. Uh, the producer tweeted about it on Twitch. Twitch on, uh, on Twitter also. they I think they replaced... Uh, you could, before you could like search by ID or something, and I guess that was not working. Um, they, they had said that that uh, there were more people creating rooms than they had anticipated, and so apparently whatever, maybe they didn't even have a means of finding other rooms. You just, they thought people could just scroll up and down the list and it'd be easy to spot. But anyway, uh, that was not sufficient, so there's now a search function. Apparently that's what the game update is for. Um, I do kind of want to see if they changed any of the things I actually am hoping they will change. So I'm just going to do a quick little check on those. And those would be improving the AI. <coughs> and uh, my throat is not ready to go here. Improving the AI and um, adding more customization items. They only have... I estimated it was maybe 15 to 20 percent of the of the items that they had in Final Showdown. They own, uh, in this game so far, they're they're converting them, they're recreating them by hand in the new engine. Uh, they said they have 2,000 in in now. Um, and uh, a user uh, posted on VirtuaFighter.com, and he said that uh, he had he seemed to recall them saying at some point that. Final Showdown had about 20,000 customization items, so that means they've only got 10% of the uh, of the old items in so far. I do think that once they finally get us a content update, we'll probably see that number double, triple, even quadruple, uh, but uh, I guess we'll see. Um, so if I'm going to check the AI, I've only really played with Sarah, so I guess I'll just have to use Sarah. Just real quick. Round can three very hard. That should do it. And uh change costume with option. No that's not it. Uh select data. That's it. Uh yes. Wait, that's a type C. Why did I have a type C in slot? Am I confused? I'm confused. Oh, right. No, yeah. No, no, that's fine. <clears throat> okay, so the AI in uh, in Ultimate Showdown, as in Final Showdown before it, is just not very good at defending. You better take me seriously. Round one. Ready? At least it was not at launch, and it was pretty much exactly the same as I remember it being in Final Showdown. It just gets hit a lot. It doesn't... It doesn't really block consistently. It does not... It doesn't counter... Uh, it's just letting... This is on very hard difficulty, so you should not just be able to batter it down, but uh, that's what you're able to do. So yeah, it does not look like they changed that at all. Now this is just round one, so you do expect the AI to go a little on you, easy on you, but very hard AI you would expect to 
at least be able to defend itself a little bit. Those glasses are interesting. It will be nice when they add some more customization items, that's for sure. I mean, imagine, you know, they just have to add one-tenth of what was in the original, and they'll double what we have now. Whoa, sweet. She just slipped over that like a greased hog. That's a weird thing to say. Oh. She is not defending herself. I don't even remember how to do any useful moves. I'm just mashing buttons. Oh, she hit me. See, I was trying to walk up and throw her. I did test last time, and they're not particularly vulnerable to throws, whereas in Vanilla 5, they could actually defend against punches and kicks okay, but not against throws. So in, in Vanilla 5, once you got to a reasonably high level in quest mode, for instance, at least in my case, I found I was just throwing more and more until I was pretty much just throwing exclusively because they were blocking punches and kicks, and but they weren't stopping throws. And Sonny finally, a viewer finally pointed that out, and then I was like, oh yeah, that's uh, that's not good. In, so you could say that their defense in Ultimate Showdown, Final Showdown, is more balanced than it was in 5 Vanilla in the sense that they can't defend well against anything. And they, so at least you don't just revert to using all throws. So I guess that's something. I am sort of developing a theory that maybe what they wanted to do with the AI was to make it feel a little more natural. Because in Virtua Fighter, for evolution <laughs> in particular, and for evolution, you know, there's this quest mode, and you can just play arcade mode too and crank the difficulty level up. Um, the AI would be very obvious, it still is if you go back and play that game, it's very obvious that it's just, a lot of the time it's just reading the buttons you're pressing and countering immediately, like before your move even starts to animate it will just begin countering immediately with a perfect counter attack or counter evasion or whatever. Yeah, that guy hit me a little bit. Um, and that, it's just obviously not, it doesn't, it's obviously artificial. Like a human could not do that. A human would has to, would have to see your, your move coming and react to it. They couldn't just immediately sense what button inputs you just pressed. Uh, so it's pretty ridiculous. It's just frustrating when the AI does it to you. The, uh, so maybe they thought, maybe they got some complaints about that and said, all right, well, we're just going to, we're not going to have the AI do that anymore. And, and the AI does that in uh, Virtua Fighter 5 Vanilla as well, except that it still can't defend against throws, oddly enough. I mean, it can defend a little, but not much. Uh, so yeah, this is stage four, and Jackie on stage four is actually kind of tough. But this is like it was before. I can still hit him a good bunch, but his... See, his, his attacking style actually is kind of evasive and serves as defense for him. So he actually, in effect, defends a little bit. And you don't want to go on the defensive against him because he'll just wreck you. But it is pretty much playing like before, so the, I, it doesn't look like the AI has changed. There was no reason to think it was. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, the other question is customization. Have they added? Have they added any items? So I'm gonna check uh, one of my Sarah costumes. That I need to, I guess. I, I just need to see her other stuff. Nope, that's the same. That's the same. That's the same. So it doesn't look like they updated any items either. Alright, so they didn't say they did. I just wanted to make sure. 
So anyway, I am going to customize, but there's one thing I want. I just remember what I want to do. Get some variety going here. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I've been listening to just the new Ultimate Showdown music. They made all new music for this game, but if you have the DLC, the uh, Legendary Pack DLC, you can pick music from the previous Search of Fighter games. Even the 5R, which was not a, did not come out on console. You, you could do this in Final Showdown as well. You could pick these previous versions. But there was something, and, and then you can pick Final Showdown's music. Uh, they added BF Kids, and I think they tweeted about this. It's a secret, uh, a secret music set they added, but they tweeted out the secret, and the secret I think is you hit. Yeah, you hit. I hit the option button with Virtue Fighter 2 highlight, and it gives me Virtue Fighter Kids. So that soundtrack was not in Final Showdown. Uh, should we leave it on Kids? I've never heard this. I, I never played Virtue Fighter Kids, so I, I guess I might as well leave it here. So that's what I wanted to do there. Did that, did that take? Okay, check. Um. So my the, the actual reason I wanted to come here, I, I was going to play this today, even before I saw there was there had just been an update. Uh, because I just wanted to mess around. I wanted to make a costume and, and play through arcade mode with a, a different character. So I've done Sarah. So I've I've been thinking about doing Jean Cujo. So let's go make a Jean Cujo costume. Now is this different? Editing music? Wait a second. <laughs> let's let's check this real quick. Now this is this is uh, let's do VF one. I don't like I don't like option screens without a confirm button. It freaks me out. I get paranoid. Uh, so. No, that sounds the same. Oh, there's no confirm button. It's weird. I've been thinking about Jean Cujo because it's like if I was actually gonna, you know, have a quote-unquote main in this game, who would it be? In the, you know, I'm, I'm. I need a simple character, basically. Uh, Akira is the hardest. I, I saw some people who actually know this stuff talking on the stream, and, and the streamer basically said Akira is the hardest character to learn. And I believe him, because I sure can't do Akira's moves. Pi is complicated. Lao is actually one of the simpler characters, it seems to me. Wolf is a grappler. That's kind of tricky. Jeffrey is also grappler-esque, so... Kage is like a Swiss army knife of crazy moves that I don't really understand. Sarah is a little complicated. She has this one-legged stance that is a huge chunk of her offense, and you have to know how to be able to, to use that. She can't actually move freely while she's in that stance, so that's a little tricky. Um, Jackie felt complicated to me when I used... I, I tried him briefly in Final Showdown, and... And they really changed his offense in between five and final showdown, it felt like. And he sort of goes into these different attacking um, uh, sequences. And, and it felt to me like I would get into the, depending on the first button I hit, he, he starts to go into this attack sequence, then you do successive attacks from there. But I felt sort of siloed in when I would pick one of those, and I couldn't switch to doing something different midway. You know, I had to, I don't know, that was frustrating me. Uh, Shun is, is a complicated character. He has got this drinking mechanic, and uh, new moves unlock when he gets a certain amount of drinks. He's got a drink to power up his damage. Uh, and he's just a very, he's a trickster type character with the way he moves. So that's complicated. Leon is sort of a simple character. He is a sort of combo-heavy character. He depends on these really obnoxious combos to uh, 
I'm a little biased against the lion. I hate lion doing his stupid combos on me. Depends on these combos to get damage. That's not that's not quite what I want. I also found was it in this game I played him? I, I felt like I could he's very intuitive to use just to get in, start start punching and kicking, but I hit a spot where I it got to a certain level of difficulty and I just sort of hit a brick wall with him. And uh, I felt like I didn't have enough options. I, of course, am not very good at combos, so that certainly was would be sort of slowing me down. Owie is complicated. She is a, a subtle counter character. Uh, so yeah, I've never been able to do counters. Leife is complicated. He operates through these really complex stances, which kind of go through their own kata of an attack sequence, attack slash defense sequence. Vanessa is complicated. She has two, <coughs> gosh, two entirely separate uh, fighting styles. Brad is a possibility. I really like Brad's movement. He's just very fluid in, in this game in particular. He's a little tricky because of just how fluid that movement is, I guess you could say, but I think also he might... You know, he's a punch-heavy character, so I, that might make him a little unbalanced. I'm not sure, but Brad would be a possibility. I see a lot of uh, sort of new people online playing Go. I think they feel he's kind of a, a simple character. I'm not sure about that. He, he is a grappler, and he, he also relies on, like, just tricky disruption moves and then knocking somebody down and then throwing them on the mat while they're down or doing a grab and it doesn't seem too too uh too simple to me in fact i, I can't even do his stuff and i was playing him in virtue fighter 5 vanilla and i i couldn't do his complicated stuff i could i could kick people in the junk with him that was a lot of fun so i just did that over and over until it stopped working at a certain <laughs> certain difficulty level in in uh, quest mode Eileen is monkey style kung fu. It's very elaborate. Uh, depends on a lot of little hits and, and tricky moves, so that's that's not really me. El Blaze is sort of the Eileen of of grappling, so that's even more ridiculous in a way. So yeah, I, Taka, I've played and he. He actually is sort of complicated in this game. You, uh, he has sort of mini stances. You, you, you'll like hit uh, some buttons to go into a, a motion, and then from there he can do other motions. It's not exactly stances. I don't know if people call them stances, but it is a little more complicated than just slugging people. So or slapping people, this would be more the case with him. So uh, yeah. I, I, I can't say I really got a handle on on how to make him do the stuff he, he can do. So Jean is a karate user. He uh, he seems like a, just a big heavy hitter. Uh, so that might work. I don't remember much else about him. I, I haven't played him a whole lot. So anyway, we're going to make him a costume. And... There are there are three styles currently available for all the characters, three costume styles. Eventually there will be A, B, C, D, E, and S, I think. Right now there's just A, B, C. Um, the way to sort of quickly tell what kind of costume you're going to get out of a style is to go to the shirts and look at the shirts because these kind of form the basis of the look. This is less of a thing in these very simple items that we have now, but eventually there will be more shirts and there'll be some different styles here. And especially once we get to the, I think it's the S group uh, costume types, those are just a grab bag. So there'll be a huge variety of radically different uh, shirt items. And those will really change the look of the entire costume. Uh, so for now that, Picking the shirt doesn't do much, but that's just because there isn't much to, to choose from yet. So it's basically this this kind of, I don't know, denim gi thing. Uh, what else do we got? 
Got another martial arts outfit. different colors. I don't like this one. Those, uh, those hems are just kind of ornate. I guess it's not even hems. It's like a separate... Why does he have to wear a rope? I don't know. It's not really my thing. So I'll probably do something with this little hipster club outfit here. You want to be naked as possible. That's all right. So probably that. Uh, I'm not. I mean, this this is okay. Uh, let's see here. We can go more naked. That's good. Go black. Grab your guitar. Nice looking guitar. But, uh, don't think I really want to do that. There's no white even to go, like, angelic white wing look. Um, Joker's good. can't take off the chain belt. And then he's got a leather belt as well. I mean, come on. That's just impractical. You don't want to be adding weight. Well, I could switch his club pants on. That looks weird. Doesn't look too bad, I guess. So wait, he's got white pants, but not the... Uh, Not a white top. Can do this. Those whites don't even match. It's kind of a problem there wasn't like this. Well, it's weird. He's got that weird long glove thing on that doesn't match the rest of his outfit. Well, I guess it matches the chain and the leather belt. I wish I could get rid of that stuff and just go in a straight karate outfit. Yeah, I really don't like the chain. The chain is going to bother me. This would be a, a, a waist category. I mean, like, stuff you wear. You hang on your waist. Oh, wait. Can I just... No, I can't remove it. There's a way to switch type, isn't there? I'm, I'm totally wasting a few button presses. Mm, yeah, it's just right there. All right, well, whatever. So, uh, uh, choker, okay. Naked. Should we do white or black? Black looks pretty good. Or gold. Gold's a bit much, but... Maybe not. I could do black and gold. So wait, but his other costume can't take these belts, but this one can take these ridiculous belts. Oh my gosh. It's just all blinged out. Even I will admit that's a bit much. I think gold's good. Oh, 
Oh, he does have a waistcoat. Oh, yeah, this thing. I don't really like that. It looks like he's just wearing, I don't know, clothes hangers on his, on his waist. So that I can remove. And I'm going to go with just a black belt, I think. Pretty weird shoes. I'm not a huge fan of these shoes. They don't look comfortable. I guess I could just go with these. I wish the camera did not have to go into its zoomed in mode. I mean, you can't zoom it all the way out, it's annoying. Yeah, I don't like those shoes. The, the, the... that these, these go better with. Wow, they made the chain really thin in this. I mean, look at that chain. That's it's two-dimensional. Those links look two-dimensional. Mm. Don't know about that. But if you when you can make him like a comp wearing no shirt at all and with like shredded uh, pants and it looks like he's, you know, just fought his way out of prison or something. I have a, I made a final showdown costume like that. Oops, I, I, you can take it off here, right? Look at that. Mm, I don't know. I guess maybe I will go with that because uh, I don't really like those holes in the sleeve there. It's a little too, a little too emo for me. Maybe that's not what emo is, so this kind of covers that up a little bit. I don't know if he really needs glasses. These aren't great. A lot of the... I mean, these are just bad color swaps. Just unnatural looking. Oh yeah, that goes better when you can have a shredded shirt or a no shirt as well. So, I guess we could go all glam, but I kind of, let's not do glasses. Stubble. Nah. Uh, what is my zoom? Oh, there we go. That's as far as I can zoom out. kind of works. All these work pretty well. They, I think they they've improved how the hair colors tended to work over Final Showdown. That works really well. Yeah, all these colors are good. This hairdo not so good. Just skip this one, I think. Like it's just it's domes up way too high. I don't. Uh, the old hair, most of the old hairstyles are problematic one way or another. So not 
much to choose from yet. Ah, yes, the old spider knit cap. Yeah, that was never, never my thing. So I guess I'll just be not too creative and just go with this. Yeah, it's all right. Okay. So we got a costume. Let's go. Let's go blast some people with karate. Kind of wish it would not be stuck down here and just like default to up here or something. Somebody replied to a tweet of mine and said, uh, I think I was talking about there not being many single player. I think I was replying to somebody else's tweet saying something about how there was only arcade mode for single player, but somebody replied and said, well, there's a there's a blank spot on the menu that says preparing, and I said, yeah, but if you look really close, you can see in really grayed out text, it does have a title in the lower right part of that grayed out square that says uh, tournament. So that's where tournaments will be when there is actually a tournament running. They definitely want to do tournaments in Japan, official tournaments. I'm not too sure how many they'll be doing in, in the States, for instance. Anyway, that's not what we're worried about. We're just going to go cheese some of these cheesy AIs. I guess one thing I, I would kind of like to look at is his... Uh, remember, we're on the VF Kids music. I'm not sure if this is new music. So I do kind of want to see what they made his Virtua Fighter 1 style looks like because we've never had those. Those come with the DLC as well. Uh, we did see them for a lot of the characters in Virtua Fighter 4, but uh, Jean is new to Virtua Fighter Final Sh 5 Final Showdown, so he's not in force. I'm just going to do these real quick. I'll back out because I actually want to fight with my costume I just made. I just want to look at these. These uh, low poly things they made for him. As if he had been around in Virtua Fighter 1. That's pretty good. That there's a sort of a shadow under his lip that, that is... I'm not sure that would even have been possible in VF1 because it looks like it would have to be a texture. It also makes it look like he's got a, a tiny little flavor saver goatee right under his lower lip. Yeah, that looks pretty good though. Ready, go! Die! I hate that slowdown when this menu starts up. Uh, Still not. No, that's not it. Uh, no. Oh, God. I, I, I can't handle so many buttons. I just want to punch something, some button, when it was the wrong button. Ready, go. So I'm just a default chunk. Well, that looks good in this lighting here. Uh, okay, get, get it together. Calm, breathe. Don't worry about the slowdown there, or apparent slowdown. We just hit. S no! Ugh! Okay, I did it. This is a simulated Player 2 VF1 costume. Ah, oh, yeah, it's a recreation of that costume I really don't like. And uh, I don't really like this low poly version either. Yeah, it just looks... Go! He looks like he's wearing the Union Jack. Like the, the British flag. Oh, that hurt. Okay, so for realsies, pick the actual costume I want, if I can remember the button. Square, and then you have to go all the way down here. Uh, people are complaining about the hit sparks still, the, the big... 
cloud of stuff that appears when people punch each other now that wasn't there in Final Showdown. There were little very vaporous, almost invisible clouds of like dust when you scored a big hit in, fi in Final Showdown. But, but they were almost invisible. You just kind of accepted it as a sort of force emanating outwards from the force of the blow. But here they're like these big gassy nebulas, gassy fiery nebulas. One person I saw did point out, though, that uh, hit sparks do serve a purpose. Well, these actually serve several purposes. One is actually gameplay purpose, where the color of the hit spark reflects the type of hit you got. If it was a counter hit or something, it'll be a different color. Um, so that could be helpful to some people who, who are that technically on the ball. But the other thing this person pointed out is that they hit sparks are one traditional use of them is just to cover up the contact point of the blow because you know when when two 3D characters are swinging their fists or feet at each other there's there's almost ne inevitably going to be some either overlap between the attacker the attacker's hand or foot and the, the 3D model of the defender, you know, like the fist or foot will go into that model slightly, or they won't quite ac make actual contact and there will be a little visible separation. So if you cover that, if you spawn a big, you know, big gassy exploding space nebula right there, then you can't see that there's that slight overlap or underlap where the where the hit actually happens. So it makes the animation look, the attack animation look uh, more, more, uh, more precise, I guess, because you can't see that it's not quite connecting perfectly. So that's kind of cool to, to think about. I, I don't think that's exactly why they did it. I think they just felt they needed to make it flashier. Because you would see in the olden days of Final Showdown, you would see people saying that, oh, the game looks boring to watch, blah, blah. I don't think these hit sparks would, would have changed those people's opinion. <laughs> if that even was their opinion, or if they were just trolling a little bit and actually maybe complaining about something else they couldn't quite put their, put their thumb on. I love that sound, that pshaw on that punch. Like he's just exploding the air. And now he is exploding the air with hit sparks. There was a a feedback thread on, on VirtuFire.com sort of asking people to well, uh, uh, some of the, uh, what would you call them? Some of the regular contributors to the site wrote an article about stuff they would like to see added as updates or changed in updates to the game. And then, uh, you know, there's a, there's a, you can reply. So a lot of people replied with stuff they would like to see. And a surprising to me, a number of people replied saying they would like to see a, a story mode basically and uh, actually in another thread about the Tekken director Harada giving some some love Virtue Fighters way I got into a conversation with somebody about um, about s story in Virtue Fighter and I, and I kind of said you know there's never really been a story in Virtue Fighter and maybe you know, I don't know, maybe that was Yu Suzuki who just didn't, was not interested in putting a story into the game. Maybe he viewed it, he wanted this sort of pure approach where, you know, you're a virtue of fighter. It's not about these people you see on screen as actual living, breathing characters. They're just your, you know, virtualized avatar. They're you. You know, you are the story, essentially. So, so maybe he viewed it that way and he... He didn't want to 
uh, affect the game with a story. That's just a thought. Maybe that, I, I have no idea whether or not that's the case. That would kind of make sense to me if that had been his thinking, because they never did add a story, and it really ended up hurting them in the console realm, I think. Whereas their main competitor, Tekken, copied a lot of their stuff, but Tekken also added... Well, they added a ton of characters. Hey, I'm losing. And they, uh... She's too short to hit, that's why Jean is actually freakishly tall. So is this round four? Because round four is where... Yeah, it is. Uh, uh, another user pointed out to me, a viewer actually of my YouTube video pointed out, and I, I don't remember the name, I'm sorry, I'm stupid, pointed out that stage four is, is where you get a bit of a difficulty leap, which is good because it's way too easy up to four. It's still not too hard after four, but I am kind of getting my face handed to me right now. Uh, so yeah, th there's never been a story, uh, the, the person I was discussing this with on VirtuaFighter.com was said, well, in Virtua Fighter 3, there's a, there's an ending story movie, and I said, well, no, there's a, there's an ending movie in 3TV on Dreamcast that you unlock, but, uh, oh wow, I took that full in the face, but it, it, it's just sort of weird scenes of the characters. It's not it's not a narrative. It's just kinda of like, hey, look at these funny scenes with our characters. Oh, that's not it. I found a move that was working on her and now I've lost it. I'm gonna lose. Oh that's right. I I, I wrote down in my notes from, from Final Showdown, I think that back kick was a move to spam. It sure is. But that got me thinking. He also said that that the old manuals had had story written for each of the characters, and I got to looking at those. Well, actually, I remembered that on the Japanese Virtua Fighter Five Ultimate, well, Virtua Fighter Esports site, as it's the game is called in Japan. There are actually little story blurbs per characters. I lost. Uh, per character. And I went back and looked at those. They're in Japanese, but I just ran them through, you know, Google. I looked at... I was looking at Vanessa's. Uh, I ran it through Google Translate. Uh, but then I, I eventually realized... Then I started collecting... I, I put up a little link list of... The, uh, like links to the manuals, scans of the manuals for the previous Virtua Fighters, and then I looked up the Virtua Fighter Final Showdown site, the Japanese site, and it also has little story blurs for the characters, and they're the same ones that are that the Virtua Fighter Esports site has, because of course VF Virtua Fighter Esports or Virtua Fighter Five Ultimate Showdown, as it's called here in the states, is just a remake of Final Showdown. So of course they're not going to have. That was sweet. Not going to have different stories for the characters, and the, the the stories are just exactly the same type of thing that you would see in like a Tekken, an old school Tekken. I don't know what Tekken does for its story in seven or something, but uh, just you know, in the last tournament, character so and so did this. Then between the, in between they did this or this happened. Then. Uh, in this tournament, you know, they're going in with this state of mind type of thing. That's that's basically what these things amount to. So Virtua Fighter had that kind of stuff all along, and in fact, the Final Showdown ones are somewhat more elaborate. I'm still getting spanked. Um, so uh, th this person I was discussing it with had actually said that uh, Yu Suzuki was involved up through Virtua Fighter 4 and, and after he took a backseat role and was no longer hands-on, the story kind of uh, went away or, or became lessened, but that's not really true. Uh, it's just still these little manual style blurbs for the character bios. And they've, they've kept doing those all along. 
And those are, you know, like I said, that's pretty much as much story as Tekken's had and so forth. They just did not make it into actual little amusing animated sequences. Wow, okay, I'm getting crushed. I gotta shut up. But I, 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 I want to, I kind of want to put together a translation back of the uh, character bios from the website, just so I have it all in one place. There, there's actual translations of them on the VirtuFighter.com site in the individual sections, fact sections for the characters. Uh, but they're all broken up, so I, I kind of want to... I'll just, you know, I don't speak Japanese, so I'll have to use Google Translate. But I'll just compile them all and put them in one single text file, and so at least I'll have them all in one spot. Anyway, that's that's sort of an idea of something I might do if I get it uh, a little time. Knockout! Gosh dang it. Round four. It sucks because Ready, you get to stage four and then you realize I know nothing about the character. Now I actually have to not be completely uh, button mashy and I actually have to do useful stuff. Oh yeah, down forward punch punch. That's another move of Jean's that works well against the AI just spamming it. See, but John is just a, he seems like, at least at first blush, like a big, see now, if you, that, oh, I hate her, some of her throws are so cheesy looking, oh no, I'm gonna lose still, uh oh, Knockout. <sighs> down forward punch, that helped. Oh, that was pretty good sand in our face effect there. Uh, I am liking the look of this game overall. I know some people are not super happy with all the faces. Vanessa's face is very sort of craggy now. Uh, but it's, you know... They did fix the eyes. The eyes can actually focus properly now, so they don't always look kind of cross-eyed or something. that air ripping sound. Oh no. Yes, I try to throw. Yes, it, it backfired. Round two. Ready, go. Wow. Uh, that big me is not, not getting me out of trouble. I... Probably a lot of scrubs opt for John. I noticed uh, Maximilian Dude when he was jumped on the game and it's first launch day or whatever he was using John. Maximilian Dude is not exactly a scrub much, but he was a newbie and he, uh, he went for Sean. Uh. Man. So, you know, there may be something, some AI worth playing here once you get to stage four, then you've got three stages of aggressive AI. It can't defend super well, but you at least need to know a little something. Perhaps. Either that or I'm just not dedicated enough to spamming moves. Like, for instance, if I just do down forward punch punch... See, she actually laid a really good evade on there. Round two. Ready, go. Hey. Yeah, so you can still, if you find the right move to spam. Round 
Uh, this kind of thing does not work in 5 Vanilla. It does not work in Virtua Fighter 4 Evolution. Or really... It works a little bit sometimes in Virtua Fighter 3 TB. Not as well, though. Not nearly as well. It, uh... Yeah, it doesn't work in 4 Evolution. I'm not sure about 4. I don't think it would work in 4 either. I only found, like, in 4 I could spam Vanessa's, uh, what was it, kind of jumping spin kick thing? Uh, what is that, just... Is that, uh, guard kick? What was it? Or kick punch? Whatever it is. Uh, that you could you could do repeatedly because the AI did not really have a way to avoid it, avoid getting either hit or staggered by it. But they fixed that in evolution, and that was a specific case of just a broken move. These moves aren't really broken, but the AI is just not not dealing with it right. Oh, well, maybe Jean knows how to deal with his own spam. Oh no, I just had to hit block for a second. I mean, I could try to play like I don't know how to spam these attacks on it. It's just kind of distracting knowing that I could be spamming an attack and doing better than I probably would be trying to play legit, you know. Well, this guy, that was a heck of an evade he did there. See, and that was not a sort of fake feeling reading my input style evade. It kind of felt like he was a human who decided to evade right after the start of the round as just sort of an anticipatory measure, you know. So it's, you couldn't really complain about that being cheap AI there. That was satisfying. So yeah, how much how much there actually is to play? I'm not too sure. I would probably get. This is pretty much why I guess I ended up just almost all of my playtime in Final Showdown was really just a. Uh, costume making, particularly for Sarah. And I would make a costume and then go into special sparring and just run through a couple of the teams on, like, normal or hard difficulty. And then go tweak the costume and do it again, or make a new costume and do it, uh, play through a couple teams. So it never... It was never really hard, and once I actually tried pushing it once I sort of, you know, I, I filled up all my 42 costume slots or however many ridiculous costume slots you had in Final Showdown. And then I was actually trying to play and just found that uh, well actually I think I was doing it with Go where I found this move I could just spam. And then I was like, wait a second, is this, is this a thing? And then I finally realized the AI was not, not so hot. So they haven't really had a solid AI since Virtua Fighter 4 Evolution. See, when I try to play him normally and I respect his defense, I start getting wailed on because the... The AI is very attack oriented. Their attack, there's nothing wrong with their attacking ability, really. It's just their defense. So it was when I was getting frustrated by getting, you know, just beaten down, I just started bashing buttons with, I think it was Go, but I don't know. And eventually found that, wait, they're not, they're not, this, I'm doing way better now. They're just not able to break this attack cycle I go into with Go at the time, I think. And then I, I found moves that I could spam with the other characters. I did not actually clear arcade mode. I think I was mostly testing in special sparring where you're fighting these customized teams in AI. And I think maybe the special sparring difficulty curve was not 
Well, it, it really didn't feel like it had much of a difficulty curve at all. Whereas arcade mode has a, a little bit of a difficulty curve. Especially if there's a bit of a bump at stage four. So it is a little challenging in my noobishness of not... No oh, he's spamming. Okay, he was spamming down forward punch on me. Yeah, I guess that's his comment on how good my defense is. All right, well, looks like I'm actually going to have to concentrate on doing some stuff. That was a good throw evasion. Yeah, uh, see. That felt a little like the old AI of reading my throw input and immediately doing that little uh, sway back. All right. I'm all glammed out. Round one. So here I am trying to play legit and just finding that I don't know what to do because my only game plan was to spam and cheap AI. Really sweet knee though. Whoops. Oh. oh. Well, there's some basic defense it did not do. Ooh. Hoisted on my own petard. Not, not putting a whole lot of effort in, not putting as much effort into that final defensive stand as I should have. What is that? Is that a stagger? It didn't, it didn't give me the stagger lever thing. It, and I blocked it. See, he's blocking this now. Oh, not there. Down forward punch. Gonna get you. Ready, go. I guess it's just a knockback. Shumba. Ah, yes, give me that sound effect all day. Not glam enough for me, baby. Look how my glove is a little bit sparkly. Oh, right, Akira's the last dude. Kind of like how they remade this stage. Feels cozier now, I guess. I mean, I did like the huge hall you were in before. But this stage is a little... Uh, less contrasty, a little easier on the eyes. The, the first version, the version in vanilla, is actually one of the hardest ones to look at because there's there's these bright torches blazing around the, the sides of the stage at right at eyeball level, basically. So they, they extinguished those in the final showdown version. Probably for optimization purposes mostly, but it, it definitely helps make the stage easier on the eyes. And this one is very easy on the eyes. There are torches, but they're pre placed precisely at... Whoop. Sweet. At, uh, at the level with the railing on the fence. Oh, no! Ha! Ah. That was awesome. 
I went for a throw at a stupid time. That was not the time to do a throw. I kind of thought I was doing it as a counterattack, but it was way, way off timing. Ooh, he's, he's very throw heavy right now. There's got to be some follow-up to that that I'm not doing because I'm hitting all three hits and still getting murdered. This little tummy massage. Oh, look how that fence broke. That's, that's a nice effect. Sean and Akira are kind of the two big sluggers. But Sean's moves are, are much simpler than Akira's on the whole. So yeah, Jean is probably uh, most suited to my uh, bone-headed playing ability. I'm sure there's all kinds of stuff you can do when you're really good with him that I am not doing. Uh, I am not going to beat Dural. But you can't continue against Dural. It's just a bonus stage. As it says, she loves that move. She loves that is that a Taka move? It's a bonus stage, so you, there's no continue. It's just for score, bragging rights? I don't know, whatever. The problem with Dural and trying to play her in a spammy way is that she... She, uh... She uses moves from all the characters, I guess, so... While one type of spam may work against a certain character, she, uh, she has this very diverse set of styles to pick from, so it's hard to know what to use against her, to spam against her. I love how she changes color. Material type. Now she's got like a grid. Oh, now she changed back to silver. Dang. Oh, man. Oh, now she's going. It's so cool. Now she stopped going. Oh, was that? Oh, she's just over the light. That's why. Ah. Now she went into that dark, sparkly color. With that hexagonal grid on it. Well, <laughs> that is not, not quite what I had in mind. There we go. Dang it. I can't get in forward forward punch against her. She's too fast. Okay, okay. got a chance. We're right in it. Oh, God, the belly burst. Uh, hey. Oh, boy, this is not going well. Wow, I just can't block after that. Okay. Nope, four forward punch. Not working. Okay. <laughs> Dang it. One of these days, Dural, I almost had you. Forward, forward punch, man. I kept trying it like a moron. It's just too slow to get her. Even when she's what looks like sort of far away, she just closes the distance anyway. It counter hits it. So, pretty much like I concluded after playing through with Sarah, there's a little bit, a little bit to, to do against this AI, a little learning to do. But uh, it's not it's not actually super good at, at defense, which is too bad. That's the way it's always been in, <coughs> in since Final Showdown. 
I, uh, I don't have any real hope that they will mess with the AI at this point, but I have more hope now than I did before before we knew about Ultimate Showdown, I guess. But yeah, a lot of people asking for a story mode or a quest mode, and I, you know, I, they, they do not seem to have any ambition in single player stuff. The whole purpose of the game was to, uh, for them to be able to run the, uh, the tournaments that, that had been growing independently among the Japanese players online in the final showdown the PS3 version of Final Showdown. They just wanted to to uh, to have those under their official banner. So they, they basically made... They just wanted a version of Final Showdown that had a... that was on current consoles and had a tournament mode. So that's what we got. They weren't even going to bring it to the West anytime soon when they first announced the project. They said, yeah, it's going to come out in Japan and, you know, sometime later in the, in the West. But then they ended up with a worldwide, worldwide simultaneous release. I tend to think that the, uh, the people at, at their regional offices all <laughs> put in a, a group conference call to uh, Sega Japan and said, guys... There is no way you are not giving us Virtua Fighter. And they, uh, they did the math and realized it would be easier to do the necessary work to localize it and get it out for all regions uh, rather than to have all of their regional offices mad at them. That's my theory. Anyway... It came out, so that's good. Uh, so that was a little bit of Jean. Um, got a sparkly gold costume. That was nice. Uh, he's fun to play. I, I wish you know there was a little more AI to force me to actually learn to play him well. But what can you do? And this was version 1.03. It, it just came out in the past day or so. And it looks like pretty much, yeah, pretty much all it did was, well, not single player stuff. So it probably was just the, the room search stuff or online play. Um, that's about all I, all I was going to do tonight. So I guess that worked out pretty well. Uh, you know, I I think I'll come back. I want to do I want to do go. I think the next uh, next little session. So maybe I'll be running one or two of these a week. I, I don't know. It seems like something something to do. Striking while the iron is hot, I guess. But it's also just because you know I watch I'm watching people streaming and I. Uh, to start to think about, you know, start to think about playing this game, even though the single player is pretty limited. Or the AI specifically is pretty limited. I mean, I would be, I can be perfectly happy with an arcade mode as long as it's good. But if the AI is so easily cracked, that's not really, it's not really great. So I wonder if this is still the VF Kids soundtrack as well. It's on Saturn, wasn't it? Uh, like a super deformed version of Virtua Fighter. It's been somebody somewhere saying that uh, maybe it's because this came up on a VirtuaFighter.com thread or something, this soundtrack, but I think somebody is saying, what the heck was VF Kids? And they were saying, well, yeah, you had these big bobble-headed, super-deformed characters, really low-poly, uh, and it was kind of tough to play because their arms were so stubby. <laughs> uh, so that was kind of funny. But yeah, I've, I've never played it. I never had a... It must have been Saturn. I never had a Saturn. Yeah, 
that was actually before I got into consoles. I mean, I, my brother and I, you know, our parents got us a, an NES back in the day, because I'm old, um, after we'd been playing them at, at, uh, at friends' houses, because that was the only way we could play Mario Bros., Super Mario Bros., so we finally got an NES, but uh, and my brother actually did end up getting a Super NES. But that was about the time I went away to college, I think. And I I didn't like my first impression of the Super NES was like, why did they need to add all these colors, all these round things, all these buttons on the controller? This is dumb. I thought it had just sort of ruined the clean look of the, the NES. Games, so uh, I was not, I was not, uh, was not very receptive to the Super NES. So I went away to college, and I was just playing my. Uh, I had a Commodore Amiga, and a couple of Amigas. I was playing Amiga games, and I, I didn't get back into. Then I kind of got into PC stuff after Amiga kind of died. This is for real. And I didn't get back into consoles until uh, Dreamcast. Well, I think before Dreamcast, uh, I got into... Although it came out after Dreamcast, so I'm not sure which came first for me, but also the, the Neo Geo Pocket Color. It might have been that first because I got into SNK fighting games playing them on the PC via emulation. I got into SNK fighting games... And then uh, I, I found out that there were these you know, little handheld super deformed versions of some of the SNK fighting games on the Neo Geo Pocket Color. That kind of got me, got me into that. And then at work, uh, somebody brought in a Dreamcast they'd just hot off the store shelves or something. And uh, that was kind of kind of mind blowing seeing Soul Calibur. So it's and then they had a oh no I think I just went and bought one. And then I think the holidays of that year maybe the next year they everybody got a Christmas bonus where you could choose a console and so you got a console as your Christmas bonus, which is kind of a kind of a puny Christmas bonus for a full time. A job at a software developer, but whatever. It was the first Christmas bonus we'd we'd ever got there, so nobody really complained. And uh, that's that's when I got a PS2, and then I got into getting old PS2 and PS1 games to play on that, and that's then I was just out of control. And of course, it was on PS2 where I got into Virtua Fighter when. Virtue Fighter 4 came out on PS2. Oh, actually, though, I had well, I had bought Virtue Fighter 3 TV on Dreamcast because, of course, I remembered seeing Virtue Fighter in the arcades as a kid, and it was, you know, it was polygons. It was, it was amazing. But I, I never really played it because I was too, too young and intimidated by the old kids who was, were playing these games and intimidated by the, just the game itself. And, uh... You had to be kind of, you had to kind of know what you were doing, or you'd lose your quarter really fast. Not even have that many quarters, so I didn't really play the originals in the arcade, but I sort of looked at them from afar in awe. So when I, I learned that there was a Virtua Fighter coming out on my Dreamcast, I was super excited. Bought three TV and uh, was really underwhelmed because I was thinking it was going to look like, you know, as as uh, as bright and sparkly as Soul Calibur, and it sure didn't. To me, it looked very gray and plain, and uh, it just I just immediately said, oh, ick, and uh, that was pretty much it. Uh, but then Virtua Fighter 4 came out on PS2, and it was looking better, so I got that, and I really got into the AI training stuff. Which of course was then removed in Evolution, which made me mad. So I didn't really play much Evolution because I was just mad they'd taken out the AI training. Uh, this is how silly I was back then. I'm still silly now, but in slightly different ways. Maybe I don't know. 
This is Jean. Ready, go. Level 26 Jean playing online against an alley. He's rocking that black eye tape. This must still be the VF Kids soundtrack, right? This couldn't be the, the Ultimate Showdown soundtrack. Wait a second, they moved where the banner Oh no, this is the This is the VF1 UI, right? I was gonna say they moved where the little banners people can put on appear, but I think that's just because this is the the uh, optional VF1 UI that you can select from the DLC. So he's using that John hairdo, the second one, where it just domes up really high over the head. Man, I cannot, I cannot use that hair. It just weirds me out. It makes his head look an inch taller. Oh, yeah. He's getting punked. Ooh. So, of course, if I do keep this up, I'll eventually have to do the uh, command training. I think I might have done John's command training before when I was playing Final Showdown. But that was a while ago, anyway. Nice. I mean, you know, maybe a little lucky, but he knew what he was doing there. Just push him out, and they, they for some reason, let him do it. Nice. I mean, you can just tell this game was made for multiplayer. They, they really... Between 5 and Final Showdown, they gave the characters so many more attacking options. They just really wanted players playing versus to to have a bunch of different options and ways to you know ways to foil their opponent and uh, make the game you know that much more uh, I don't know that much more interesting I guess that, that have that much more stuff you could you could think through and, and have to learn to do and to counter and it's it's I mean it's pretty cool as a as a multiplayer game. Not that I've played a multiplayer, but even just to watch, there's just so much you can see going on. And and you can really tell the play styles of different characters. The different players even when they're playing the same character. For instance, a lot of the very good Oh, this is Rodnuts playing it here. Rodnuts, level 36 now, jeez. Uh, the players I've been watching stream say that Rodnuts is, is definitely one of the top two or three players in the West. So this is his Akira, and you know, there are so many ways you can fight in Final Showdown slash Ultimate Showdown that that you can really have your own style even with a character like Akira who does not have the largest move list by Virtua Fighter standards. But there are still lots of ways to use it. Jeez. Shatterer rank level 31 for this talk. Oh, that's Banak. Banak is also frequently mentioned as a very good player, so this is quite a set. And, you know, I had come to think of Taka as not being a very strong character because uh, he, he never featured in the later rounds I saw of the... Uh, what's the big Japanese arcade scene tournament called? Uh... Gosh dang it, it's been too long since I watched it. Anyway, whatever the big the big Japanese tournament was, the, the Takas just didn't seem to make it very deep into the tournament. But 
a lot of these U.S. players or Western U players I'm watching the stream are saying that Take is is one of the top characters, which surprised me. But certainly, some some Western players have been having success with him. I need to get going, so uh, let's wrap, wrap this up. All right, well, thanks for watching this. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep playing around with Ultimate Showdown. I like making costumes too much. Uh, and I, I keep getting the urge to mess with the game when I when I watch people streaming or see people talking about it on VirtuFighter.com, so... Yeah, it keeps sucking me in just to goof around with this silly AI and these very limited costumes we have right now. So what the heck, I'll be back with more of this next week, probably. And uh, I, uh, the one I'm playing for realsies, of course, is Virtua Fighter 4 Evolution. Quest mode with Jackie. I'm at a, at a pretty tough stage in that one now. The Extreme Bout Tournament in Sega World North. That might take me a while to beat. That's what I'm doing right now, so I'll be playing that Sunday night. Uh, and yeah, but I'll play this one for fun, just because it's kind of fun to goof around. So, uh, see you later. Good night.